Hi there, this is Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite ab routine. I think one of the questions that I get asked most frequently is how to get those six pack abs. Well, first I need you to note that getting that six pack is all about fat percentage. And I'll post another video on the best and fastest way for you guys to get those six pack abs. But for those of you that are looking for an effective ab routine, then just follow along because this ab routine has always gotten me great results and there's no need for any fancy or useless equipment. All that you need is just a few moments of your time. We're gonna start off with some crunches to target the fibers of your upper abs. Keep your hands on your thighs as you slide your fingertips up to your knees. Doing that will ensure that you can't get it wrong. Just keep your gaze fixed on the ceiling as you use your abs to lift and don't move your neck. Without resting, we're gonna move on to some crunches with your legs up which will now engage more of the middle fibers of your abdominals. And the trick that I like to use here is that I have my knees and elbows meet right at the center of my core. And I'm gonna hold that contraction right there for about half a second. Remember to always inhale on the eccentric phase the way down. And exhale as you contract those abdominals to do the crunch. Next up, we're gonna target the superior fibers of your obliques on your right side. So you're gonna to wanna to stretch out those legs and then put your right hand behind your head with your elbow facing out. You're gonna use your abs to lift and rotate your core until that elbow points towards the ceiling. Try not to move your neck and don't forget to breathe. Remember that you wanna train your body evenly. So now we'll do 20 for your left side. Exhale as you raise your core until that elbow points towards the ceiling. Next, we're gonna target your lower abs with some leg raises. Place your hands by your side and flat on the mat to maintain your balance. Keep a slight bend in your knees as you lower your legs until your heels are about a couple inches from the floor. Then you're gonna raise your legs until those legs make a 90 degree angle and they're perpendicular to your core. Now here's the real trick to really work those lower abs. Once your legs are perpendicular to your core, you're gonna use your abs to raise your butt about an inch or two off of the mat. Then you're gonna lower your legs and do it again. This may be tough at first, but don't worry, you're gonna get used to it. Just make sure that you don't swing those legs and try not to go past that 90 degree angle because you wanna keep the tension on your abs and you also don't wanna round your lower back. Next step, we're gonna shoot for 20 bicycle crunches. You're gonna start by having your legs up and your knees bent at a 90 degree angle. And then you're gonna to start to pedal your feet as if you were riding a bike. Keep your hands by your ears and simultaneously raise your shoulders about two inches off of the mat using your abs, not your neck. You're gonna rest for 10 seconds and then shoot for 15 more. Finally, you're gonna rest for five seconds and do another 10. We're gonna finish off this little routine with a couple of stabilization exercises. Those exercises are gonna see you engaging your core as you try and maintain your position. Start out by crossing your arms across your chest. Next, raise your feet about six inches from the floor. Next, raise up your shoulders off the floor, not your neck, and hold that position for about 60 seconds. Finally, you're gonna flip over and we're gonna do the plank position. Try and keep your core as straight as possible as you hold the plank for about 60 seconds. So there you have it, a very simple but effective routine that can really help you sculpt your abs. Don't sweat it if you can't complete the entire routine in the beginning. Just do what you can. If I said do 20 and you only did three, well, no worries. You just do what you can do. Soon enough, that three will be five, then that five will be 10, and then 15, and so on. But just keep at it. Try doing this routine a couple of times a week, and then you will be shocked at just how far you've come within a couple of months. This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition, and if you like these videos, then please click below to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for tuning in.